Kafka. Today, we're going to take a little bit of a dive into one of the most important tech stories of our time, the Cambridge Analytica scandal. And we do so having watched the equally important Netflix documentary called The Great Hack, which came out a couple of days ago. The Great Hack takes a hard look at what happened with the Cambridge Analytica scandal and the data points of 50 million unsuspecting Facebook users, how people were and are being manipulated online. Joining us today to talk about that scandal and the documentary is Itka's CEO and co-founder. Please welcome Joran Wegström. <laughs> so Joran, always good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. All right. Before we go on, let's break it down a little bit for everyone. Um, what exactly is the Cambridge Analytica scandal? For those of you who haven't seen it, you definitely should see it. But uh, let's break it down. Uh, what, what, is it, what does it mean? The first uh, Cambridge Analytica had a, another name uh, before, which was called SL, SLC. And, and that was a company uh, that were used or they sell, sold their services into warfare situations to, to uh, um, influence people uh, on, in, in, in war situations. And then um, they started to work on, on, uh, on other fields as well. And they, they made an agreement with the Trump uh, uh, organization to lead their, their marketing and, and, and pro program for the US election. And um, they used something that was very unusual or, or at that time, at least few people have heard about it, something called psychographic profiling uh, of Americans, uh, uh, practically all that have, were able to or had rights to vote, um, were um, based on their basic details, like their cons consumer habits, social media activities, and psychological traits. And they use something that's called the, the Ocean Personality Style, which is an acronym for, for to determine how open the person is, how consciousness a person is, if it's extra, an extrovert person, person, if it's a person that is, has the ease to agree, and if it's, or is, if it's a neurotic person, alongside with thousands of different pieces of data on every individual. So they used all this data to analyze people's psyche, more or less, very based on this model. Um, and uh, and they, they use this particularly in the swing states where they, where they um, determined which people were able to, they were able to influence or change minds to vote for the Republicans. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and um, they they massaged very individual messages to each and every one of those those people and um, they claim in the film that they had more than 5000 data points on every american adult at that time uh, and and hundreds of thousands of personality surveys combining them with to to pinpoint millions of trump voters mm -hmm. and so they're also tying this cambridge analytica with possibly with Brexit, correct? Yeah, and then, I mean, that has a lot been a lot discussed about, but uh, I mean, the film claims that, and everyone believes, at least here, that uh, they use Cambridge Analytica in the Brexit um, referendum as well. And, and that was, uh, is what's said in the film also, but also in many other countries, not only here, it has been work used in Africa, in West India, in, uh, in countries in Asia, like like uh, the Philippines and so forth. Mm -hmm. And you've watched the documentary twice now. Yes. So why did you watch it twice? Yeah, I mean, first time, I mean, uh, you get an overview, and then uh, I went back to more see the details they talked about, and 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 uh, it's always good to get some reflections before and 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 watch it again. Mm -hmm. And so we've talked a lot about the misuse of people's data because that's kind of fundamentally what is behind the foundation, of, what is the foundation of ITCA, um, yeah. you know, a platform that doesn't use or misuse your data. 
Um, but what was particularly eye-opening about The Great Hack and why should people watch it? For me, there were a couple of things. I mean, uh, we knew very much, I mean, ourselves, we knew very much about what, 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 what happened and, and because we've been reading a lot about it and it's been all over the papers, but the film summarized it very well. But something that I, it catched me maybe more than anything else is that that this is also a tool in another type of warfare tool uh, that regimes can use to influence other countries. Instead of using weapons, they can use the, all the possibilities on the internet and social media to affect, uh, to affect uh, people in other countries, to, to establish divide, to establish support conflicts and all these kind of things that, that, that another enemy Mm -hmm. is wants to wants to achieve now the tagline or the subtitle of the movie is they took your data then they took control yeah what what does that mean exactly i mean how do they how do they take control what it first first i mean they 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 got data from several sources i mean there has been a lot of written about the data they we can get back to that later but they got they got from from Facebook, for instance, but they also bought data from many other sources like Axion and, and probably mm -hmm. eight, 10 other sources with a lot of personal information about people. But what they did, and, and, uh, and I think that's more common now than it was then, they used their, their psychographic knowledge based on the latest psychographic and behavior uh, science to analyze people's psych and and the ability to influence them in different in different ways mm -hmm. uh, and and they did it in a massive way i mean they actually did it for whole, people in a whole country uh, and probably also people in england uh, and uh, and that's something i mean that hasn't i haven't heard about it before anyway and i think uh, it hasn't been happened like that before uh, and and then they used the social media channels and particularly Facebook to to send or to 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 to, to uh, address every individual, uh, and they knew, as they said, to ninety percent certainty how that person that received that message should react. Right. So it Can was a huge, huge. I mean, a manipulation that we never heard about before. Right. And so can you give me an example or talk to me a little bit more about an example of, of, of a case where, where a person is being manipulated? What kind of messages did they send? Yeah, that could be. I heard, uh, I can just give another example than the U.S., but it's connected to this. I heard uh, the, the, uh, the Guardian reporter uh, that was also in the film she had a te TED talk. Uh, she talked about uh, she, uh, if I remember right, she was she's from a from an area in Wales, where seventy percent voted for for Brexit, and and she didn't understand why why they voted for Brexit. And then she went there to make like to dig to dig deeper into what happened, and. Uh, People in that area said there were two things that made them vote for Brexit. One was that they were convinced that they didn't get anything out of the EU in, for, that, for, for themselves and for that region. And they thought there was immigrants all over the place in the region. And the, the truth was that in that, that region has, was, a, was a coal mine, mining area before and that it's converted to a high-tech area now. And most of the financing of that was made by EU, as an example. Uh, and there was practically no immigrants. And then she, she there, and then she started to find, try to find out how did they get this kind of opinion. And she managed to get some, some pieces from, from their Facebook uh, uh, flows. Mm -hmm. and, and they've been bombarded with lies. For instance, one of the things that, that they were bombarded with was that Turkey was about to be a member of the European Union and millions of people would flee, come into, into their area as an example, which was a total lie. So, so there was no checking whether what they saw was a truth or a lie. 
-hmm. and and no one i mean as it is the individual messages no one else than yourself can see it so no one knows can knows that what what each and everyone is seeing so it was like invisible for for the for the open world for the media mm -hmm. now the show opens up with uh so there, there's a cast of characters in this in this documentary um there it, the, so it's a husband and wife team kareem amir and uh jihani new i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but that's the those are the producers of the documentary and it takes us through the lives of david carroll a new york-based professor who challenged cambridge Cambridge Analytica over the use of his own data. Brittany Kaiser, who's a former Cambridge Analytica employee and one who was very, I guess, instrumental in um, carrying out these campaigns um, on Cambridge Analytica for the Trump campaign in particular. And the, then the Guardian journalist that you mentioned, Carol uh, Cadwell Letter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so the... The show opens up with David Carroll, who has a simple request. He's sort of the instigator of this whole thing. He mm. asked Cambridge Analytica, I just want to see the data you have on me. And he never actually saw it. Mm. So why, why, how is that possible? I mean, this, the data that they talk about, I mean, it's, that is a very important thing to explain. Mm -hmm. I mean, what they, what the data they get, the raw data that they get is like what you like, what you share, share, what you uh, pictures you you upload, uh, the searches you do on the internet, uh, where where you are, which people you meet, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but but that is analyzed by these algorithms, these psychographic algorithms that creates another profile of people, which is not exactly the data that you fed in to the, right. to the machine. Uh, and that, and that is, I mean, you don't see that Facebook has that Google has that Cambridge Analytica has that and no one never sees that if you up, you can upload data from Facebook, but then you see what you clicked on, what you liked, what photos you uploaded and so on, but you never see that, that profile. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the same with that, with, with Cambridge Analytica. I think th I think they didn't want to show it because they have it, obviously. Right. So they have it, and and how is it possible that they're not allowed? That I mean, they, they're not. I just I I just don't understand how that could be possible that they would al allow a company like Cambridge Analytica to have data on somebody and not. Yeah, but that's, that's not particular for Cambridge Analytica. That's the same for anyone else that are having uh, handling this kind of data, like Facebook, Instagram, Google, Snapchat, and whatever the names are. Mm -hmm. They have they have the same. Right. It's just it, it's, and then you never see that. You never see what it is. Right. So um, there's another character in in the documentary um, who he didn't, he wasn't interviewed because he didn't want to be a part of it, but they showed a clip where he was actually, um, there was an undercover interview. Um, you where mean he in talked restaurant? About, yeah. And he talked about the Trump campaign and he said, quote, we just put the information into the bloodstream of the internet and watched it grow. Yeah. What does that mean? What exactly, what exactly was he doing? And that was Alexander Nix, by the way, who was Cambridge Analytica's VP. Yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what it means, but what, what, what they did, one of the things that has been very much uh, talked about is how they use Facebook data. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they, de they, or through a, another company, they developed a, a personality kind of a, a profiling app. Um, so when you, you, you got a number of questions, you filled in that, you answered the questions and then, then you got a personal prof personality that was also used as raw data into the model. But, but I think it was 75,000 people that downloaded that, that, uh, app and with the, with the agreement they had with Facebook, they got the profiles of these, all these 75,000 people plus their friends profiles mm -hmm. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And in total, they, 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 they say they, they got 
85 million profiles from Facebook, uh, which is a massive amount of people. But man, people, and and that was used in the uh, very extensively also in the uh, in the psychographic analyzing, and and uh, and then they used Facebook's channel back to communicate and to manipulate the the target audience that they picked in this particularly in these swing states right so then i guess that that was another that was another quote by uh Brittany kaiser um she said that they used or they they targeted people who they thought they could swing back over to yeah. conservative way of of thinking and then therefore to vote for trump so yeah yeah. It's been it's been said that that's how he won the election. Do you believe that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was also the 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 victory wasn't very big. It was like seventy thousand votes. That was the difference between winning or losing. So, mm -hmm. uh, and sir, I mean, I'm sure about that, and that that's what people say as well. I mean, it's common common knowledge. Right. Um, and then, and then there was Steve Bannon, who was also with Cambridge Analytica, who had a couple of choice quotes. Um, the amount of information you can uh, that people can get on you, it's just creepy, and they just give it to you, almost like people are just they just give away their data without even thinking about it. Yeah, um, I mean, giving away by being on 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 these plat by being on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, and and these and being on Google as well, and that's giving away. Mm -hmm. uh, but just being active there and being participating in it, then you give it away. So it's not like that you say, "Hey, here it is," but, but being on those platforms, uh, platforms, you give you give your personality away. Do you think this this film will change people's minds? Do you think it was that eye opening, or do you think that people are still going to be on these platforms and just? Uh, certainly, certainly, people. Some people will 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 react, but I think still it's difficult for many most people to to grasp how my like can turn into being manipulated to vote in a vote in a certain direction. I mm -hmm. think still, even after the film, it's difficult for people to to really understand that but that is actually what's happening and yeah. also that and, and another another point uh, by being on on these platforms is that you you receive this propaganda if you call it that this right. manipula manipulative propaganda even if you don't do anything as an american voter and you are you're de you they determine you to be possible to swing then then you get a lot of information that you don't get if you're not there. If you're not there, you can't be manipulated. Right. And and we were talking earlier, and, and you say it's very difficult to tell that somebody's trying to manipulate you because because why? Because it's disguised as news or it's a you know, why is it so difficult to figure out that you're you're somebody's trying to manipulate you? Yeah, because it's it's um it's the, the, this manipulation is is done. You, it's it's not that you you go from one opinion to another in in one step. Mm -hmm. You are you 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 are it, it's it's you, you're you are approached over a longer period of time with different kind of messages, but but to turn you into a certain other other opinion. Mm -hmm. And and that that are small steps that you don't understand. That it, I mean, first time you see something, you think it's totally crazy, and and uh, and how could someone say like that? And then you think it's so crazy, so you share it with your friends, uh, right. and then because then the platform sees that you react on it, and then you get more of it, and then the more you see, and the more you read, the bigger are the chances that you change your your, your mind. Particularly if you are with, if, 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 if labeled in this as it is in this ocean model, that that you are possible to you are you are not clear or stable in your in your in your opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, so so then then uh, and that's what the manipulation that 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 people are talking about that that you see you see what you react on and normally people react on. Things that are shocking or 
or ridiculous or whatever. And the more you, you react on those, the more you see of it. Mm -hmm. And Steve Bannon said one other thing too, and it's kind of skipping around, but I thought this was a good quote. He said, if you want to fundamentally change society, first you have to break it. Yeah. And so, so he knowingly went about trying to break it. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, that that's for sure. I mean, that's what they, what, mm -hmm. what they did because, and then many of, them, I mean, I you have we haven't seen what was what people saw because uh, it's it's based on individual individual messages. But 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 uh, a lot of what they, what was spread was so. I mean, like in this English case, it was pure lies, and mm -hmm. and uh, and I think we can see also if you if you see how. It, and you are you are from the US, you know this better than I. But but if you see how it was before the election in the US and how it is now, the, I think the country is so much more divided. It's and crazy. that was and that was because I think it's I mean that was clearly because of how how these things were communicated and spread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's so when when we watched this film, I watched it with a millennial. Uh, a 17 year old. Well, is he a millennial? Yes, he's a millennial. Uh, a 17 year old guy, right? And we're watching this and we're talking about the politics and this, um, this, these campaigns that Cambridge Analytica was launching or this campaign. And he said, well, that's just politics. He said, that's just political advertising. They're not manipulating you. It's your fault if you are being manipulated because you, you, you're not smart enough to figure it out. So he's actually thinking, but this was before the end of the movie. He, he changed his mind eventually. But what's the difference between political advertising, which is always going to be negative on the other side. It's always going to try to say Hillary was a bad person, whatever, so you don't vote for her. What's the difference between persuasion and manipulation? Yeah, but when it, when the manipulation is on 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 uh, on social media, then there is a manipulation of you as an individual mm -hmm. directly. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if the communication is on media, normal media, in in TV or in, in newspapers, then the world sees it. And if it's lies, then someone else can come up with another idea. Uh, so you see many sides of the of the same thing, and then you have a better chance to, for instance, to to decide what you think is right or wrong. But if you see just the same thing and you can't determine whether it's lies or not, mm -hmm. and 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 you might believe in it, and and you see it in us many times, then you probably change your mind. And 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 that's the the danger because the manipulation is going going on behind the scenes and no one knows it knows about it except yourself, mm -hmm. and 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 you don't realize it's manipulation because it's as I said it's it, it's small steps and it it's a journey that it takes to change your mind, mm -hmm. and and uh, and when you can use as in the Cambridge Analytica case deep personality uh, knowledge to to change your mind and play on your weaker sides to to change your mind that is extremely dangerous i mean that's i i i read an interesting article in the swedish paper a few days ago they interviewed a, interviewed a, a woman that lived in the eastern germany uh, that fled fled, uh, fled into western germany but when she described how it was in Eastern Germany, that was very much how it's on social media today. It's practically, it's, it's so much similar. And how people were manipulated, they just saw one side, they just saw one story, uh, and they saw another story about the Western side, how bad it was and, how, and all this. So, and, and, and that's a good example of, of how they manipulated people. They didn't even... They were scared of, of about saying their telling their views about things because they didn't know who listened to it, how they should react. Uh, I mean, that's the same what happens on 
on the internet today, if people say something and it's, it's something particularly controversial, then, uh, I mean, the whole world are after them. Right. <clears throat> right. And then, and that brings, that kind of answers my next question about why it's so difficult. Oh, sorry. Why it's so dangerous to our democratic societies. Yeah. And then, and it's extreme. I mean, it's extremely dangerous. And, and we see that in certain parts, democracies has been teared down uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and that is, I mean, you, I mean, you have, we have to allow people to have different opinions about fact, about things, have different, different political views. But I think we need to, we, we need to do everything to, to protect the, the, the democracy. So at mm -hmm. least people have a chance uh, to, to tell and vote for their opinion. But, but I mean, if you, if you, if, if you, if you go the wrong way, and democracy tear, fall apart, then, 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 I mean, very few of us, I think, will live in the, but want to live in that world. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a, I think it's, it's a challenge to, to educate people to understand that that like is a piece of, in the puzzle that can tear down democracy. Yeah, that's a pretty, uh, yeah, so that, that's our job, right, to, uh, to more to just you know try to educate, try to help educate. Yeah, and also I mean as I said in the beginning that uh, that now you see countries are using these tools in a sort of war, new kind of war situation with other countries where where they try to destroy the stability in 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 in, in many countries today, and and uh, I mean it, in the film in this case it was it has been a lot of to lot, a lot talked about Russia's. Uh, in involvement in the U.S. election, but in the film they took an example where Russia mobilized uh, protests, uh, both for uh, people that were for something, but also for people that were against something, just to make them build up a conflict. So they supported both sides, both sides of the issue, and that was not because they wanted to have some a certain view being be, being followed through but they wanted to have a conflict mm. and, and 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 that's another way that 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 you don't know where it comes from you don't know whether my message in the news feed comes from a, a troll in in any a foreign country or whether it's a a politician in my own country or where it comes from you don't know whether it's true or not but if if most people only get their news like eighty percent of the news from social media, there is no mm. uh, there is no uh, balance of 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 uh, of, of two is two two uh, two opinions. Yeah, it's it's crazy. That's, I think um, it's important to talk about some other specifics, like the Do So campaign. Yeah. In um, India. Yeah. And that that was mind blowing to me that somebody would actually launch a campaign to get people to not vote. Talk to me about that. I mean, explain. Yeah. That I mean, I mean, there was, uh, um, they, the, the idea was to, was to uh, get a certain part of the population not to vote and get the, uh, the, 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 the younger people in this case, I think they were between 18 and 30 or something like that. Right. And, and to get the, in this case, the Indian youth to vote. And they, and they made up a huge campaign for this peep, for the peep, for the part that didn't, they didn't want to have to go voting and, and they succeeded. So most of those people didn't vote, but the Indian youth, they, they, they went voting and they won the, the Indian like party won with 6% in that election. Mm hmm based on and it was it was thanks to that that populate part of the population didn't vote and there were some other examples too of of um manipulation uh in in a political way and that's where for me it it kind of hits like wow you know that that's yeah. dangerous yeah it's i mean it, they talked about treating out tobago they talked about uh, uh, countries in, in africa uh, mm -hmm. They talked about, uh, I think they talked about the Philippines uh, and so on. So, I mean, that hap it's happening in, it's, this has happened in, in many countries. 
Yeah, and especially what's especially well, I don't know how to put this without sounding, but uneducated people with the, the less education are more what what Brittany Kaiser called the persuadables. Yeah. You know, targeting those whose minds we could change. Yeah. Um, that's dangerous. Um, so anyway. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, again, I, I mean, in these cases, it's about to, they try to approach the vulnerable people. I mean, in, uh, to, and because they are the most, the easiest ones to change if the, that population is big enough. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the other thing that sort of strikes me about this is that it didn't necessarily come from an evil place. Like is Mark Zuckerberg an evil guy, evil guy is, I mean, were these guys evil? No, they're just trying to make money because, and they're, and they're using tools. What here's, here's a quote from a New Yorker article in 2018. It's uh, once Mad Men ruled advertising. Mad Men were from Madison Avenue. They were the they were the pioneers in the advertising world. And it said they've now been eclipsed by math men. So engineers and data scientists whose province is machines, algorithms, pureed data, and artificial intelligence. Yet math men are beleaguered as Mark Zuckerberg demonstrated when he humbled himself before Congress, blah, blah, blah. You know, so they they love data and and they're arrogant in their conviction that their science is nearly flawless. Um, yeah, you know but I mean, I mean, yeah, but all, all these companies, uh, the, the the their revenue is to make business of people's of the knowledge of people, people's data, and how they analyze that data. So, I mean, that's built in into the business model. So they will they will do everything they can to try to exploit that knowledge as possible as much as possible and and i think before the cambridge analytica i think most people thought it was ad, normal ads but mm -hmm. now they people start to realize that normal that ads could be many different things that could be a political campaign that could be a an infiltration from an foreign country or whatever mm -hmm. uh, but because because the and the whole system is built on that that anyone can 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 access you anyone can get access to you and 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 send any message to you and and they do that based on the analysis of you and mm -hmm. and that is that and, and and that is that combination is is uh, is so dangerous and also that that is the whole the whole manipulation vehicle is built into in, in, deep into the system Right. And so what's, so here's a question. We're back to politics. Um, so what the documentary, uh, people are criticizing the documentary producers or the writers or whatever, because they, they call it a, a political documentary with a liberal agenda, pointing fingers at Trump and, you know, Brexit uh, and not talking about Obama, who also apparently used people's information to learn more about his potential voters. Um, it, was it a political movie, do you think? No, I mean, absolutely not. I, I mean, it's, I mean, independent which, which, which party you, you vote on or not. I mean, if, if the basic democracy is at stake, mm -hmm. then, which it, it is in this case, uh, then it's not about polit politics. It's about our rights that I think at least we in the Western world take for granted that we that we, we want to live in a demo dem democratic world where we have the choice to change out politicians if they don't behave, if they don't do the right, the, a good job for the for the people. Mm -hmm. It's not so. It's not about the view. I think. I think the. Re I mean, the reason why this is 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 hot i mean of course i mean trump is a is a is a, is a yeah, i mean he's a person like he is but 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 um, the reason why it has been blown has blown up is the methodology they've been using and how they could i mean practically know everything about all americans 
and use it to manipulate people. I think that is the big, big issue here. Not mm -hmm. whether they, it was a Republican or a Demo Democrat or whatever. It's, it's a methodology they used. And, and, right. and, and also that they were able, with the, the deep knowledge that they have, to predict the outcome of it. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that, that's a good and point. If you, if, I mean, you can see if, you, if this would be a, a country that would have this kind of massive information about people and had the same tools to manipulate people and, and, and being able to predict the results with that certainty. I mean, who would like to live in that country? Right. But this is commercial companies that does, that does it for the living. Right. And if you don't do it, then you're behind. Right. No. And if you don't use data to, to manipulate, persuade, get people to buy things, um, whatever you use it for, then you're behind on the curve. And, you know, like we don't, the IDCA is a good example. We don't use, we don't misuse people's data. We don't mine it. We don't use it uh, without yeah. people knowing, except for, you know, basic cookies to make them think yeah, work. Yeah. yeah. Um, are yeah, we going to, you know, go ahead. Yeah, and I mean, the revenue, the revenue stream for pe people like Google and Facebook, for instance, that's based on clicks. Yeah. If you don't click, there is no revenue. So they do everything to get people to click. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know now we, we know, I mean, this, this movie, you have to watch this movie. Um, and, you know, how... I already asked you how we know we're being manipulated and it's very difficult because it's doing it. You said it, it comes in steps, but what can we do as consumers um, to, to make ourselves less accessible to this kind of manipulation? What, yeah. should, what, what can we do? I mean, first of all, I mean, you have to, you have to make your, I mean, you cannot, you can, you have, you're going to have some footprint on the internet that it's difficult to avoid that. Right. But you have to, you have to take the actions you can to minimize the, the footprint. Uh, and, and for instance, when it comes to search, I mean, that's a big, big data, data uh, bank for, for, for these companies, what you search on and what sites you go on and so forth. I mean, there you can use, uh, other search engines that doesn't track you. Uh, you can use browsers that uh, uh, block cookies and ads. Uh, there are, I mean, like browsers like Safari, like Firefox, like uh, Brave, for instance. They have very, very good protection for, for instance, for cookies, and and more will come. And they, have, I mean, like even for, even in Safari, there are. Fin uh, fingerprint preventions built in into the browser. Mm -hmm. So that that is a that is a pretty pretty uh, first step to take to and use VPN to hide mm -hmm. your your uh, your IP addresses and encrypt uh, your communication. Uh, you should always switch off your your GPS on the phone. Uh, switch off Wi-Fi when you're not in the office or in a home uh, as much as you can, not, not to make it possible to, tr to track your geo, geo position. Mm -hmm. I know it's difficult on Android because uh, some people say it's always on, on on Android. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I, uh, uh, that's one thing. And if you want to not be like addressed by potential manipulation and thing. and then you have to leave this these services you have to you have to leave them and because and, and because a lot of then you don't give information away and you're not you you, you you're not uh, approached by by manipulation and 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 uh, and, uh, and and misinformation uh, but then you have to take your news from from the normal media and you have to find other platforms for your communication with your friends and with your family and, and maybe in, in at work as well. Mm -hmm. And there are, I mean, it is such a platform as an example. Uh, and uh, so there are many things you can do to, to minimize your, your footprint, of course. 
mm -hmm. uh, but you cannot entirely hide. How, how close do you think we are to banning the use of psychographics and this kind of manipulation that is just so everywhere? That's very hard to say. I mean, it's, it could be a long process, depends. But I think it has to be banned, first of all. I think it's, it's too dangerous. It has to be, it, it should be banned. It should be, not be, be allowed. And, and I think the analysis that um, Shushana Sudov does in her book, The Age of Surveillance Capitalism, where she, where she has de de dig de deep into Facebook, Google, uh, Amazon, and Microsoft, Mm -hmm. is very much true and, and she says she also says it has to be banned this, this has to stop it can't be possible it can't be allowed to trade in people's people with people's data or people's psyche in the way it is today mm -hmm. and in gdpr is is you know of course people always are talking about gdpr in europe as being a step in the right direction in terms of protecting our privacy um protecting our our rights it, it, and considering it a fundamental human right to, um, yeah. you know. Yeah, it is a fundamental human right because I mean, without, without being free and having a private life, no one has any, the human rights is gone. The basic, the basic protection of your, of your life is to have a private life, the right to have a private life. But now, I mean, I mean, that's, a, that's an interesting question based on the information that Cambridge Analytica got, got from about all the American people. Does anyone have a private life in the U.S. anymore? Yeah. And, and, and then we talk about China as it, it's, it's built into their, their culture yeah. where they don't expect to have a private life the government knows everything that they do and they get social yeah. profile profiling and um yeah and that, that is what happening in 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 in, in regimes that, that doesn't doesn't support democracy and the people's rights rights to to have like a private life that then they will these these tools are heaven for them mm -hmm. we've never had i mean if the old Eastern Europe had had these tools for the, uh, around then, I mean, I don't know what, where it would end up. Yeah. Well, I mean, and the wall did come down. So are you, are, are you thinking that, I mean, you say it might be a long process, but you know, if we don't get angry and we don't it insist that we have these rights then we could be in deep <laughs> trouble. Yeah, and and, and I mean, uh, I spoke to a, a, a early summer to a politician here in Sweden, mm -hmm. and 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 she's running one of the municipalities uh, in Stockholm, and she had absolutely no clue about what was going on. And I said, "You're destroying yourself by using all these tools, mm -hmm. uh, and the, and what you've been fighting for all your life," and mm -hmm. and she hadn't realized that. Yeah, and, and I think that there must be, uh, eventually I think we'll come, we'll come, come around uh, as, a, as a society and not allow the rich and powerful big tech people to have all the rights. I mean, I'm quoting yeah. a, an article. Yeah, the, yeah exactly. And, and I think there are many people with deep insight that been going out, has gone, come out now to... to to and, and is driving processes to to ban psychographic mm -hmm. uh, analyzing or advertising and so forth, and and the Roger McNamee is one of them. He was in the film, and and I mean, it's pretty pretty scary what he says. Mm -hmm. Well, anything else you want to add about um, about the film, or anything else um, you want to tell the audience? Leave the audience with the thought. No, but I think uh, I think uh, if if you haven't seen the film, you should see it, and, and may, maybe even more than one time, and mm -hmm. and uh, reflect on it because uh, we can all help uh, making this happen 
and, and stop it by acting ourselves. But that means we need to stop using these platforms. We need to do everything we can to minimize the footprint that we have uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and use services that is built to protect people's privacy and, and people's private life. Right. And I think one thing that, that I tell people too is that it's, it's, it doesn't have to be impossible or difficult to use services that, that, that do respect your privacy. Um, it no, is a no, good exactly. example of a, of a tool that's very easy to use. It's, it's actually easier than a lot of the free stuff out there. And, you know, it, it's not impossible. It's just a matter of changing your religion or <laughs> get off of free or get off of some of these services that exploit you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we have to be aware that, that uh, the more we use this service, the more we support this, this kind of manipulation and this kind of, you know, what, what, what the film describes. Right. Well, thanks, Joran. We're out of time for today. Thank but, you. Uh, if you have any questions for Joran or myself, connect with us on IDCA. That's www.idka.com, I-D-K-A.com. Uh, and feel free to post comments on our YouTube channel and watch other good tech shows there or here on UBN. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And bye for now. Thank you.